Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jose. And I'm Emma. And we are Mugbang. And what do we have here today, Emma? We have something that has been in my list of things to make for a very long time. This is called Crunchy Chimkin Casserole, or truly it's called Crunchy Chicken Casserole. Um, as you all know, I do love me a casserole. And so I was talking about casseroles with my sister-in-law, Jen, and she was like, I have a really good casserole recipe. So we'll t you guys saw what's in it. We'll talk more, but let's take a bite. He already took a bite, but it looks like you maybe just stabbed a piece of chicken. Yeah. Sorry if the audio is a little different here. We realized our mics were not plugged in, but we've got crunchy chicken casserole and it's maybe go behind uh yeah i don't know or put your hand behind it does that work maybe anyway you guys saw what was in it um i want to go for a first bite and then we can talk more about um like what's in it where did this come from mm. it's really good you guys Pay more attention to my reactions than his. <laughs> <laughs> Jose had never had casserole until he met yeah. me. Yeah. I'm, I'm still processing everything that's on my like, plate. Yeah. It's like it doesn't matter what's in it. It's just like what it tastes like. It's good. Mmm. The top part is really good. The brown, the cheese that's gotten a little brown, it's really good. It's like, reminds me of my mom's chicken casserole, but just different. Mm. If you guys like casserole, try this. Um, you can taste like every different component. I love the slivered almonds in there. I toasted the slivered almonds first, so. Mmm. Really good. And my sister said that you could, like, cook the celery first and then add it in. And she's like, if you want some extra crunch, then put it in raw. And I'm really glad I did because you can taste the celery, too. And I love celery. Mmm. So good. Honestly, I'm having like a moment right now. Like this is so comforting and so delicious. What does a ca casserole entail? Like what? Good question. Yeah. So we were, so I was having a text conversation with my family the other day. <laughs> um, that's, I don't know if you guys noticed that Jose brought in his life raft. <laughs> but, <Yeah>. um, <laughs> but, um, and my family and I were discussing, like, you know, and sorry if you hear that noise, it's Teddy kicking his back legs back to assert dominance over us. So as he walks by, we have to act really scared. <sighs> so anyway, we were discussing, like, my, one of my brothers was like, is casserole like an American thing? So I was like, I'm glad you brought this up, Brendan. And so we were talking about, like, is casserole an American thing? And I was like, absolutely, yes. Like, there are no other cultures that have casseroles. But then as soon as I said that, I thought about like Greek moussaka, like that's a casserole. And then my brother brought up lasagna. I'm like that is also a casserole. Like that fits all the requirements of casserole. Um, but before Jose and I met, he had never had a casserole before. So I'm wondering, I'd like to hear your feedback. First of all, like I've already asked this, but like if you guys have casserole recipes that you love, like I do plan to try like the breakfast casserole because we've never even had that. And I know it's like a big thing, like tater tot casserole. So we definitely want to try that. But if you guys have casserole recipes that you love, please share them. And also please let us know if you're familiar with a culture that has a casserole in their cuisine, like that's like a a traditional recipe not just like not like enchilada casserole but you know something that's actually made by like the native people you know yeah 
Mm. But again, what what Sorry. makes a casserole? I would say a casserole just means that it's a bunch of stuff like kind of layered or mixed together in a casserole dish and then baked in the oven. Hmm. Like, usually, um, most or all of the ingredients in a casserole are like already cooked. You just mix them together and like marry them together with a sauce. Usually Campbell's soup based. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It's good. I like it. We should have done some research. Like, why did casseroles become a thing? Because mm -hmm. I think they became popular like in the 50s, right? For like housewives. Definitely looks like something our dear Phyllis Stokes would make. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure she did. But this recipe really reminded me of, um, I don't know if you guys have ever um, used pimentos, which was one of the ingredients in here. Pimentos, I'm... I should have looked this up, but I think they're just like little pieces of roasted red bell pepper. I, I could be wrong about that, but I think that's what they are. Um, and if you guys aren't familiar with those, they're bomb. They're really good if you make like homemade macaroni salad. It's really good to put some, put some uh, pimentos in there. The recipe overall kind of reminds me of like a southern thing called pimento cheese, which I don't think I've ever had pimento cheese, but I've heard of it. Um, Mm. This recipe was created by my sister-in-law's step-grandmother, who was named Bertha, and she was from Oklahoma, and my step, my, my sister-in-law told me that she never had um, her own actual biological kids. So she spoiled her grandchildren a lot and she would always cook like delicious things for for Jen and her siblings and so Jen was telling me about the different things that she would make for them and this recipe just sounded so good I had to try it um, but funny story so grandma Bertha um, had a 35 pound cat named Bubbles that she would feed chopped steak daily and she would microwave the steak for 10 seconds and add salt <laughs> Yum. That I thought was funny because it sounds like something we would do with our dogs. But. Should add that to the casserole. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but anything with water chestnuts I love, as Jose knows. As Jose yeah. knows but doesn't understand. <laughs> I'm pigging out on this here. It's good. It's good. Didn't um, Running Bear say something about casseroles yeah he commented in our other casserole video he said that his mom makes a really good casserole and whenever he goes to see her he always asks her to make it and like this casserole it's also covered in potato or in chips but they're um doritos chips i had never made a casserole before that has a a chip topping but it's really good it's like crunchy a chip component. No, it's really good. I'm gonna have another serving. And I'm back with round two. Mm -hmm. That's a hefty big boy serving. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, we gotta figure this out. I don't know if it's because it's like too light and it's being washed out or the light is too bright. Come on people, we've asked for your help on this before. We Let actually, know. that's the reason we used paper plates today was because we thought our, our other plates might be like washing things out. Like the color might be like too similar to the food, you know? We need to buy just like white plates and white bowls, but you know, we're quarantining. Oh yeah, that's still a thing. It yeah. is, um... It's getting weird. Yeah. 
It is weird. The other day, Emma was like, I, don't, I miss shopping. I miss going to, like, a store and getting stuff. Mm-hmm. That's not, like, running in and out of a grocery store. Mm-hmm. I do. They're not allowing people to bring in their own shopping bags at the store now. Mm-hmm. It's weird. Which, folks who don't live in California or San Francisco might not even know, like, what the hell you're talking about, so you should tell them to bring your own shopping bags. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think it's, you know, like, no knowledge that a lot of states don't allow or don't provide bags at the store. I don't Plastic think it's bags? a lot of states. I don't know. I think it's like San Francisco. No. Are you guys, do you guys get free grocery bags at the store when you buy groceries? Do you get paper or plastic? Because here, you you have to bring your own bags. And if you don't, you can get a paper bag. But they're, um, they charge you, depending on where you are. If it's in San Francisco, it's 10 cents per bag. Yeah. But if it's in San Mateo County, it is uh, 25 cents a bag. So, um, yeah, we've been doing it for years and it works great here. Like we don't have any issues with always bringing our own bags. It's like people balked at it so much when it first happened, but it's like so easy to just start doing that. Like, it's just, oh my gosh, there's no excuse to not just bring your own bag. But also it makes you like, um, you know, um, what is the word I'm trying to, uh, to say? It makes you aware or like, yeah, aware of how many bags you're using uh, about reusing some bags yeah like so that's good occasionally we do like buy a paper bag like really just to have a couple around the house like for things that we might need you know like whatever the purpose might be which isn't oft which isn't like a often thing that we need but but yeah it's um it's so easy to just bring your own bags. But now they're saying, like, the, like I tried to walk into a grocery store the other day with um, with my own bags. And they, like, said I could not even walk in the store with them. And so not only can you not bring your own bags, but they have actually brought back plastic bags at our Safeway. <laughs> it was, like, all the stuff, like, there. I mean, actually, they had paper, too. But you could get plastic bags. I haven't seen plastic bags given out at Safeway in years. Really? They're back? Mm-hmm. That's nuts. Yeah, I opted for paper. But, um, yeah, it's interesting. I'll um, have you guys know that Jen also shared with me a couple other pretty exciting recipes from Grandma Bertha. One of which is Southern Fried Chicken. And I know we've had a couple people request fried chicken, so that might be on the horizon. Um, we also were, we were already thinking about doing a mac and cheese video, and then Running Bear asked us to do a uh, mac and cheese, so we'll um, probably have that coming up soon. But it's tough because you know we aren't like really getting much exercise, so it's hard to like really justify eating like really decadent meals, yeah. but. You know, like last night we had baked chicken, spinach, and baby carrots. Like that's what we had for dinner because it's like we cannot justify eating like anything with how little activity we're having, you know? Although I am happy to say that I have maintained my weight. So mm -hmm. it hasn't gone up. It hasn't gone down. Me too. It's been maintained. Bambi, on the other hand. Mm-hmm. She's ballooning. She's like a little thick girl so I weighed her today and she was eight what did I say 8.4 8.4 mm -hmm. pounds the last time we weighed her she was like 6.8 or something so she smells like beef I smell like beef I smell like beef I smell like beef Anyway, guys, um, let us know what you think of this. Let us know if you try this recipe. It's delish. Recommend it. It is. Jen, thank you. Mm -hmm. Bertha, thank you. Extra thank you. 
Um, I have to say that my mom's like traditional chicken casserole recipe has on the very bottom layer is like French, French cut green beans, which are like frozen green beans and they're just cut really thin. And that's the bottom layer of my mom's chicken casserole. And then next goes the egg noodles, etc. And um, I think that would be really good here too. Mm. I think green beans on the very bottom. Jen, let me know what you think of that idea. If it's blasphemy, then I take it back. Like a bottom layer of grilled cheeses would be good too, right? On a casserole? Yeah. You just grilled cheese on the bottom. No. And then stack it with like eggies. Tater tots. It would just Stuff become like, like mush. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. So. Something to think about. Mm hmm. You guys continue to pressure Jose about holding up his end of the bargain. We talked about it today. So I think we're making progress. Mm -hmm. um, so I think just the more you guys pressure him, sooner or later, I'll be over here eating the meal that Jose promised to prepare me. Yeah, or she'll be sitting there with two black eyes. We'll see. But yeah. We wanted to make a little quick video on this uh, casserole. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hello, hello. And uh, we get a few subscribers here and there. Thank you guys. Welcome. Um, we have more videos coming up. It's quarantine. We're stuck. We're going to eat. We're going to throw on the recorder. <laughs> So you know we will be. Bye, man.